Hi guys, I just got to the Bellamy Beauty Bar and today we are going to have a little hair transformation. It's time, I get bored very easily and I'm always down for change. So today we are doing something completely different and I'm here for it. I'm so excited, I'm so, so excited. I haven't even done my lip color yet, by the way. I feel so like bare when I don't have my lipstick. I feel like lipstick completes my entire look. Anyways, I hope you guys are excited. Let's go in the beauty bar and let's do a transformation. All right, you guys, I'm here with Kat. Sorry, we're like <laughs> trying to get in frame right now. We'll figure it out, I think I got it. <laughs> so what are we doing today? Tell them what we're doing today. Well, Amanda came here and we are at the Bellamy Beauty Bar and we are going to be adding in some semi-permanent extensions and we chose to do tape-in as well as eye tip to give her a combination of the best of both worlds and we're gonna make her longer, thicker, fuller and we might be adding just a couple of pops of color here and there, we will see. You guys will have to stay tuned, I'm so excited. I cannot wait, let's do it. I got my matcha, got my switch. I'm gonna play some Kirby and Mario. Just came out, and uh, we're gonna get Thank you so much, Kat. I'm obsessed. Yay. You are so welcome. Thanks for being such a great mom oh, for me. All right, you guys. I just ran through the rain because it's raining right now in LA still. I love it. I'm so freaking excited and can't wait to play with it. And once I get tired of the light, all I have to do is dye it all black and then I'll have my jet black hair again. But it doesn't even feel heavy. I thought it was gonna feel so heavy and it doesn't even feel heavy at all. And you guys saw how short my hair was and everything just blends, even straight. It looked so good. So it's the day after I got my extensions in. Initial thoughts, the tape ins feel like nothing and everything overall feels super comfortable and it feels way more comfortable than clip and extensions, which I did not expect, but it's just not as heavy and I don't feel like it's pulling at my scalp or my roots. I'm headed to Sally Hershberger salon right now because I wanna get these lighter pieces just like either toned or darkened a little bit just because I feel like it's a big contrast and I want it more to be like a dark chocolate brown so I'm going to do that right now the tape ins are super flat the eye tips at the top are also flat but I feel like when I laid down against something like you can feel them but they said I would get used to it after a few days so I'll keep you guys updated but it's still raining in LA so all my curls almost completely fell but it feels so good to wake up with long lush hair back in here i'm not my cutest self right now but that's okay you guys see me with no makeup pretty much every day 
on Snapchat or Insta story and you know the filters do help they make me a little bit cuter but there ain't no filter for this right now so I just want to pop back in here and show you guys my hair I liked the original color at Bellamy when I got it done but then whenever I got out into daylight I was like oh I think there is just a lot of contrast so when I went to the salon today they just deepened up the color so it's more of a chocolate brown the color will look different in every light from studio to daylight to indoor it's just all gonna look different and when I get tired of it I'll just dye it all black but I wanted to film today because I wanted to document the process and I wanted you guys to see and get my first impressions and reactions and so far my initial thoughts are it feels like air I've worn clip-ins my entire life so those are the only kind of extensions I ever knew and clip-ins I don't mind them and now that I have these clip-ins are so much heavier and clip-ins tug at the hair after a while and they kind of give you a headache sometimes but I was used to it because I could deal with it and I didn't think it was that bad but these literally feel like nothing on my head sleeping last night was a little bit difficult and like laying on the couch watching tv because of the eye tips they installed the tape ins to about right here and then the rest are all eye tips like around my ears and stuff which is really nice and they even asked like do you wear glasses yes i wear glasses a lot or sunglasses so they didn't place them right there so that my sunglasses or regular glasses could sit nice and there was a lot of detail into this process which i really really appreciate but she used 300 grams of hair, which is a lot of hair. She said on average, she uses 180. So I have a lot of hair and I'm living for it right now. Another thing I was insecure about are my short pieces in the front. Even when I had my short haircut, I still use clip-in extensions at the top just to even out because I had short pieces from bleach. She added the eye tips all the way up to right here, but she also made it to where I can still part my hair. So where I part my hair, there are no eye tips so I can still part to the side if I want. I didn't have to commit to a part. And the reason why we did tapes and eye tips is so I could have more movement in my hair. I can do a sleek up ponytail. I can do half up. I can just do more with it. You can still get a lot of movement if you do all tape-ins, but I wanted to give it a try because I trusted her professional opinion. She does this all day long, so I definitely wanted to give it a go. You do have to go in every six to eight weeks to get your beads and tapes pushed up for maintenance, which I don't think takes too, too long. Hopefully it won't take as long as it yesterday. Yesterday, the whole process took four hours to put them in. That included washing my hair, blow drying my hair, adding the tape-ins, adding the eye tips, and then she used different colors, which I'm sure makes the process harder. I'll keep you guys updated on my other social media platforms, Snapchat, Insta Story, of how I like them, but I really love having long hair again and then once I'm tired of them I can always just take them out and go back to short hair but I want to try something new I get bored so easily like I'm feel like I'm always bored that's why I love wearing wigs and switching on my look because I always get bored and I feel like being a creative person I just always want to push myself and try new looks and just have fun and that's what's fun about makeup and hair and beauty is trying new things if you have any questions about the process leave them down below and I will get back to you I love you guys so much I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up hit subscribe if you have not please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video